I'm Priscilla Lombardi and here's what made news this week. Being brought to us by three corporate citizens who responded to the need and recognized the importance of putting on a patriotic and spectacular display in the city of Stanford. In Stanford, Mayor Michael Pavia announced the city will be celebrating Independence Day with fireworks July 3rd. We're glad to lend a hand to be able to reinitiate something that is very much looked forward to by the community. It's been three years since Stanford has hosted the fireworks show. This year the fireworks display will be viewable from Cummings Beach and ONG Industries will provide barge services. There was a consensus about the number of candidates who we wanted to bring in for final interviews and we're tentatively going to do those interviews at the end of next week. In Norwalk, the Board of Education has narrowed down the superintendent search. Board Chairman Mike Lyons says members are in the process of finalizing interviews with candidates and still expect to introduce the new superintendent June 18th. Proact search basically told us that if you want the highest quality candidates to stay in the pool, you have to protect their confidentiality right to the end of the process. The board has decided not to release the finalists' names. Lyons says while he understands the importance of community involvement, the candidates have a right to confidentiality. This is the day of celebration of the return of 11 people who went from the town of Greenwich to the two small towns from which their ancestors came in southern Italy. In Greenwich, the Friendship Ambassadors Foundation welcomed back Greenwich Italian families who traveled to the Italian sister city exchange and great heritage tour on Tuesday. We've had a long history of trying to use culture and exchange as a way for people to get to know each other. The trip was arranged as part of the Friendship Ambassador Foundation's Greenwich Sister City Project. Travelers were able to share their experiences in southern Italy. To be able to respect and appreciate what your ancestors experienced and went through is an important aspect of your life. I'm Priscilla Lombardi and that's what made news this week on itsrelevant.com.